She's toasty. In theory, we shouldn't be gone that long. Today, I get to do a couple of things that I've been wanting to do for quite a while. One, I wanna get this backhoe tire fixed. This is the tire that we blew way back on our cistern project. And it's progressively been leaking faster and more, and it's time to just get it done right. The other thing that I'm really excited to do today is to have a young man over to help me. When I was young, probably between the ages of five and 13, I had the fortunate opportunity to have a father who involved me in a lot of these types of things. I don't know a lot about any particular thing, but my dad was smart enough to expose me to a lot of things. In our neighborhood, in our community, there are a lot of young boys who have what I would call first generation dads. They're men who didn't really have fathers themselves and now they have children and boys and they're doing everything they can to teach these boys what it means to be a man, how to be a man, do manly things, but they need a, they need a hand. And so today I'm going to have a young man over and hopefully he can give me a hand getting this tire off the backhoe. We need to get it into town, get it repaired, get it put back on the backhoe, and then we've got to get the last bit of plowing done around the property. We're due to warm up above freezing, and that's going to cause a bunch of problems with the amount of snow that we have on the ground. It's all going to start to compact. We also have a ton of snow that's sitting on the platform right now, and we want to get that off there before it starts to melt and before it gets too heavy to move. We can't really do much about the frame. That's not something that we can really do, but if we, if we can get the stuff off the platform, then as the stuff on the frame falls down, hopefully we can remove that and just keep the water intrusion into the garage to a minimum. You ready to work? Uh -huh. All right. What we need to do is get this tire off this backhoe and we got to take it into town and have them patch it up because it's flat. And we air it up like every day, but at the end of the day, it's flat, right? So it's going to be a pretty big project, okay? So first thing we probably can do is we got to get all this snow off the backhoe first and then we'll give it we'll fire the backhoe up and let the backhoe warm up and then we'll actually move this over by the truck. And then we're actually gonna use these like a jack, like a car jack, and lift the backhoe up. And then we can take the tire off and then we can put it back on and then lower the backhoe back down. So yeah, if you wanna get anything like, like this stuff right here, clean all around this control panel. And then like around the steering wheel there, You always want to clear around this throttle pedal so that you don't get any ice in there so when you're driving it doesn't stick and then you crash. <laughs> and here's the key. So let's start the backhoe and then the key goes in, yep, that direction. Just turn it one notch to the right and then I got to turn the battery on. We have a battery disconnect so that when we're not driving it, it doesn't, the battery doesn't go dead. So it's just a switch and I turn that on. So now the battery is actually on, okay? Go ahead and turn the engine over and do it for just a little bit. Okay, and then let's try again. Okay, and go a little longer this time. Okay, good. And then let's give it some throttle. There you go. This is really hard to, to move. So I kind of just kind of hit it with my hand like that because you, you, you can't really pull it very good. There you go, yeah. Keep going. There you go, good, that's good, okay. So while that's warming up, we're gonna put some air in this tire because we're gonna drive this around. We don't have power like you guys do at your house, so we can't just plug stuff in. We use generators, so we need to fire the generator up. And then we're gonna run a cord out to the backhoe. And then we need to take this compressor here, this is an air compressor, and we're gonna take that out and we'll use it to air up that tire. So this switch turns the battery on. Okay, so the battery's not on, so if you, if you push this, nothing happens. So go ahead and flip this switch on. Okay, you see the little light? Okay, so it's, it means it's on. And then push this one up, and then hold it. Push it up and hold it. There you go, good. All right, good, good. You got it? 
Okay. So we gotta turn this on, so flip this little lever, just flip it up. Okay. Good. So if you aired up a tire before, if you ever like a bike tire, okay, so this is the same thing, right? So we just need to put this on the wheel and it'll inflate that tire. There you go. Yeah. And just hold it. You don't have to hold it really hard. And if you don't get it in the right position, let's see if we can rotate it a little bit like that. There you go. I'm shoveling a walkway to the ladder at the back of the house because I hate walking in snow that's so deep that it gets inside of my boots. There you go, that's really good, okay? That's a really big tire, so it takes a long time. It might take a couple minutes to air it up, so pretty soon we won't be sitting on the rubber like this, right? It'll look like this. Is it? <laughs> yeah. Try not to push so hard, just try to find a spot where it doesn't leak, like right there. It's not Getting there. A little bit more. That's good enough for what we're trying to do. So let's uh, let's coil that up over here. So let's turn that off. There you go. Nice. Okay. No? You're almost there. Here. You got it. You're almost there. Yep. Like you're breaking a stick. There you go. Good job. All right. Uh, maybe. Let's let's see how far we can get on this. Make sure we get this done, and then if there's still time, we can go up there. Yeah, nice. Okay, it'll go go over like that. Yeah, and then under. Almost here. Let's put this one under like that. There you go. So we need to idle it down. So let's go back down on our throttle. There you go. Good. So we should be warmed up now. So right here. This gauge, it says water temperature. And can you see how it's kind of up off the bottom a little bit? So that just tells us we're warmed up. You don't really want to drive equipment when it's cold because it's hard on the equipment. So you're better off warming it up for a little while, then go drive it, okay? All right, we got to do a few things before we can drive it, okay? So see these outriggers? They're down, right? We can't drive with those down, so we got to lift them up. So if you just reach back here, this one is that side. So let's start here and just pull back and let's lift it, pull back towards you. There you go. And let's lift the other one, that's that side. Okay. And then we gotta lift the bucket. So let's uh, just pull back gently on that lever right there. Let's pull back. Okay, good enough. So now we can drive. So this is up is forward like this, okay? And you have to pull it towards you like this to shift, okay? So if you try to pull down, it won't go. Makes sense, it locks in there. So you have to pull up and then back, and that's reverse, okay? So go ahead and put it in forward. So pull back and then push up, okay? So now you're in forward, and then gently push on the throttle, just gentle, okay? Good. So let's go ahead and go to reverse. There you go, okay. So now we gotta look really good behind us, right? We gotta look a little bit behind us here. There you go, okay. Nice and easy. Okay, let's go ahead and stop right there. So let's put it in neutral. Okay, and then we need to put the bucket down. So just push forward or up on that. Go and keep going. Okay, it's pretty good. Yep. And then, yep, let's do the other one. A little farther, okay, that's good. So the first thing we need to do is make sure that we're being safe. 
and you never crawl underneath something that's hydraulic unless it has something to keep it from falling on you, right? So we could lift this up and take that tire off, but the hydraulics could sag and it would squish us. So what we need to do is put a block of wood underneath the back of the backhoe so it's sitting on the wood. It's not sitting on the tire anymore, right? Then if it sags, it just sits on the wood and you don't get hurt, okay? So we're gonna go get a big piece of wood and we'll stick it underneath here and then we'll lift the back up really high and set it on that wood and then we can work on getting that tire off, okay? I'll pull it this direction. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna raise the backhoe up. Actually, if you wanna go up on the backhoe, I'll have you do it for me, okay? So it's gonna be this lever on this side, yep, and you need to push out, so go ahead. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Good. Let's do it one more time. So go a little bit higher. Okay, good. Go one more time. Okay, good. So now we need to take this chain off. So this chain has a few ways that it holds on. See this, um, this is called a clevis and this is threaded right here. So if you turn this, it's like a nut. So go ahead and turn, oh, okay. So turn that and then we'll take that chain off and then go ahead and leave the clevis on there. Let's, you can put this back on here and then go ahead and tighten that nut down so we don't lose that clevis. Uh, go the other way. And then there's one right here. So we need to take that one off there. Man, this is tiring. I thought shoveling all the snow off would be a tad bit easier, but it's kind of frozen at the bottom and it's kind of frozen on top, so I can't simply just push it off in one swift movement. All right, um, so there's gonna be one of these on the inside there. I'll probably try to I reach in. You see it there? Okay, let me see if I can get it close enough. Nice, good, okay. There you go, yep, just pull, pull, pull. Now we can just lift this a little bit. And off she comes. There we go. So now we gotta take the lug nuts off. So this is what's called an impact wrench. Feel it, pretty heavy. Can I do it? Yep. So we need to hook this to the compressor, okay? So this comes off, you pull this backwards and it comes off. So this one, we're gonna pull this, slide that in there. Okay, now it's on there. Pull. All right, let me kind of show you one, okay? And then I'll let you do the other. So this has inside of it like a hammer, okay? So it kind of goes like this. That's how it works, right? But a wrench is more like this. Does that make sense? Yeah. But a hammer is more like this. So when you pull the trigger, it goes, Whack, 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 whack. So you'll hear it, okay? And then we're gonna pull the trigger. Hear it? There you go, nice and slow. There you go, yep. Okay, good. Yep, keep coming, keep coming. Okay, good. So we're gonna put some WD-40 in here, so just spray some in the bottom there. And you'll have to use your finger like this. And we'll just put these in there. And then we'll put a cover on it. And shake it all up? Yep. Then we'll just roll it like that. So we're gonna just wiggle it until it kind of falls on itself, okay? Okay. Here it comes. All right, good. One, two, three. Good. All right. Good. All right, that's good. Does it fit in the Subaru? Probably. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we need to shut the backhoe off. 
and just one click to the left. Perfect, and we're good. We'll leave it there. You guys off to the races? Yeah. Let's see if we can get this tire fixed here this yeah. afternoon. So it's going pretty good. Yeah. Making pretty good headway. You guys are doing better than I'm doing. Yeah. Well, we're off to a good start, so that's good. Just put those right there. Perfect. Looks good. Up she goes. There's a handle up here if you can reach it. <laughs> yep. All right, and here's your seatbelt. Let's get behind them there. The boys are on their way to go get the backhoe tire fixed. And it's my goal to see if I can get this whole platform cleared by the time they're back. Jesse said, I wouldn't worry about it too much. I mean, just try to enjoy it. And I said, Jesse, you know how I roll? I do everything fast and I push myself whether or not there's a reason to. And he said, I know. Put that in the garage. Um, there should be, there might not be gas cans in there, but can you get it all the way over there? You're almost there. <laughs> Here's hoping we can get it on there, huh? The lug nuts are right here. So take one of these lug nuts, and then I'm gonna try to get the wheel on the hub, and then I need you to put that lug nut on any lug that's showing. I'll put it right here. Well, it, it might be over here, okay? Oh. So let me see if I can get that up there. Might have to have Alyssa's help. Ready? One, two, yeah. three. Oh, hold on. Okay. Oh, no, can't do it. Oh, it's a no? Ready. Okay. Good work. <laughs> when we put these on at first, you have to go slow, okay? Go slow, go slow, there you go. You think you're that fast? Yeah. Okay, hold on, hold on. You gotta go a little faster now. You gotta go like, vroom, vroom, vroom. Okay, ready? Go. Now come over here. And then you gotta come over here. And then over here. And then that one. Good, all right. I think Z likes the uh, torque wrench. Good. Okay. Okay, good. Okay. Let's raise this side just a little bit. Yep. Okay. I'm going to tell you when to stop, okay? So I want you to put it in forward and then I'll say stop, and that's when I want you to put it in neutral, okay? Go forward. Okay, stop. Good, very good. And then that way, and that way. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Okay, and then let me get some tension on it too. Make sure it's nice and tight. All right, good. Okay. Right? 
you want to plow with me for a minute or do you want to fly the drone only? Um, I'll plow. Okay. So Alyssa should have the drone pretty much ready. We'll plow for a little bit and then we'll fly the drone, okay? There they go, down the driveway. You'd be a proud mama, Kelsey. Yeah. He was flying around filming, following you. On right the on. Coke. Job, dude. I asked him if he likes flying the drone more or driving the backhoe. Guess uh -huh. what he said? Uh, drone. Backhoe. Really? Backhoe's <laughs> more fun? Yeah. Well, you can be a little more aggressive, huh? You need to move the truck so I could plow down the road a little bit. Okay. Can I plow somewhere? Yeah, if you want. I'll what? Shoot. No, hold on. You're making a backhoe monster. I know. Hold on. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna go to the other side. I'm up to something very annoying. Oh? So the generator's been going since we woke up, right? Yeah. So I thought maybe we could turn it off. Maybe the batteries are charged and oh, I go in there. Oh, no. And it's not charging and it's at 11.7. Oh, no. So I come out here and this isn't plugged in. Oh, no. When all of this fell, it landed on this and yanked it out. Oh, no. So basically all day. I don't think it's damaged. It's bent. Oh, it's definitely bent. I don't think it's damaged. Oh no. Pretty annoying. So <laughs> now we should fill the generator up and go eat dinner and Wow. Wow. Well can't. What's a gallon of fuel? Like five bucks or something? That's two fifty. Okay, so it's not too bad, but still. Well, today was going really good, but our life here is not all rainbows and unicorns. Nope. Do you have fun today? Yeah. Cool. Good job plowing. So we got the backhoe running, we got the chain put back on, we got the tire yeah. fixed, and we got the driveway plowed. Not bad. It's a pretty good day. We got, yeah. well, probably half the platform shoveled, so hopefully I can finish that tomorrow. Well, yeah, we'll tackle it together tomorrow, but having the backhoe running is helping because the, all the hydrants are totally buried. I noticed that. Yeah. I totally meant to dig them out. Yeah, no, we'll get it, Like, but the backhoe running helps for sure. I so. had a marker of where not to dump my snow. Yeah. It's going on either side of that. Nice. All right, let's go do dinner. Yeah, that sounds good. Okay. Well, yesterday evening, we got to go enjoy dinner and some social time and chat spend time with our friends and their family it felt like z did a fantastic job yesterday it was just wonderful to see the smile on his face as he got to play and learn and man the speed at which these kids learn is magical i got to enjoy some conversation with z's dad and kind of talk about this opportunity that we have, you know, Alyssa and I specifically, to help other people and the opportunities that come to us, but also how that comes with a lot of responsibility. I feel like in many ways all of us, especially men, feel like there are maybe things that we wish we knew better or we knew more about and we feel somewhat vulnerable in those things and sometimes I think those things capitalize our time and our energy but it's easy to forget the things that we do know and that we are good at. And I know in my childhood, I had many wonderful, generous people who gave me very small amounts of their time and taught me seemingly small things. But those things are many of the things that we're using on this project and to build this home and to build the life that Alyssa and I want. 
And so the accountability or the responsibility that comes with that is the, the opportunity to pay that forward. And especially with children at an age where they are very impressionable and they're very open to learning. It's very exciting. And the outcome is not as, as, it doesn't have as much baggage. When we get older, we feel the same level of excitement. Often, it, though it's trying to escape our current circumstance, trying to create freedom or get away from some things that we've gotten ourselves into. So I really appreciated the opportunity to work with Z yesterday. It was fun. He got to learn some new tools like the impact wrench. He really had a good time running the backhoe and the plow. And hopefully we've kind of planted a seed there. And he actually asked on his way home, hey, could we do this again sometime? Which is a huge compliment. So um, hopefully this video has kind of inspired some of those first generation dads out there. I think in a way we're all first generation dads because even though we may have had the best father possible, there are things that we wish we would have learned and we might not feel adequate about or feel really competent or confident in, but that doesn't mean that we can't teach others the things that we do know. How's it going up there? It's coming along. Do you want some help? If you want to help. I will come help. I'm totally gonna get taken out. By do it. Oh gosh. Ah! Boom. There's a lot of it up there. Yeah, all right, I'll come help. 